A few months ago, I built this hydroplane boat from fiberglass and 3D printed parts. But after testing it multiple times, I couldn't get it to rise up onto the planing surfaces. At the end of the previous video, I said I would have to raise the arrows higher and will experiment with adding a second EDF. So the first thing I started to do was remove the rods that holds the floats and mark some new holes that sit higher and drill them out. Then I insert the rods into the new holes and glue them in. Bruh, look at this dude. Then I 3D printed some inserts that go into the sponsons to hold the arrows, and I glued those into the top of the sponsons. And then I went and took it out for a test to see what that did. Let's just say things didn't go too well. Okay, we're gonna try something different a little bit today. We did some modifications. We raised the, the holders that hold the sponsons higher, so they used to be somewhere in this area and yeah, now they're, they're really like here, so yeah. about, I don't know, a good inch? About two inches. Two inches? Yeah. So, it's a little bit too windy today, but it's still, weather is pleasant for this time of the year uh, getting the boat ready electronics get going okay let's test this thing out yeah let's do it Not in the water anymore. What ended up happening was the part that held the brushless coil of the motor to the motor mount broke right off. I think it was because of the water getting into the EDF and causing vibrations and over time it just broke. Then I put two EDFs just to see what would happen. So I took the single unit off, 3D printed a mount for two units and screwed the new one in. Wired everything up, gave it a quick test and went out to the lake to see what would happen. So as you can see, adding a second EDF did nothing at all, so I wondered if swapping it out with a standard propeller motor would help, because it isn't inside a duct where it's easier to slow down as much. So I 3D printed a mount for it, painted it, glued it in, and went to test it out.
The nose is going under the water. Is it? Yeah. Well, let me move the battery back. Because it's in the front. It is better. You want to get maybe some rocks and put in the back? It's trying to lift up. Okay. Fire on the board. Well, okay then. Oh. Wait, Whoa. do that now? Look. No wonder why it stinks. Oh yeah. Is that 3D printed? Yes. Oh, it smells bad. Yeah, the motor overheated. Because of the Yikes. water. Yikes! <laughs> takes well, a while well to also, I think it's also that it's um, the motor, the propeller is too high pitch. I apparently bought a prop with blades that had too much pitch, so the extra pitch and water going into the propeller caused the motor to overload and burn up. So I 3D printed new floats that had the mounting points further back so the floats would stick forwards more, but I also made them skinnier, which in hindsight wasn't a very good idea. Here's how that went. Another. Then I thought if it was too heavy, so I took the nose off, removed the inner 3D printed ribs and wooden dowels, which I put to help strengthening up the boat, but since it was made of fiberglass, it didn't need this. So then I glued the nose back on and installed a better seal for the main hatch. This time I brought some flat plastic to tape to the bottom of the floats to see if that will help it rise up. So here's the footage from that test. Ready. Okay. Testing this with the weird modification. Temporary. Yeah. And just ex well, works, experimenting. If it works then I'll make it more permanent. Hey, you see that? Mm-hmm. It got up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dang it. I gotta go. I think one came off. One what? Flap, whatever you... Oh, well, my rudder is twisted. My left is right, my right is left. I think they're both still there. Okay. That actually worked. Do you see it got up on the yeah. things? Oh, yep. I would, that happened. Yeah, so now not only is it bent, it's also, so steering, it worked great on sports, <laughs> but it just not on maneuvers. Out. Yeah, not. You um, you can drive fast, but not maneuvering. Did you make a left turn or? Oh, it was I, I my hand was on the stick, but I wasn't doing anything. So By itself, it lost. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, it did rise up on the planing point and started speeding up, but then I hit a wave which sent the right flow up and caused the entire boat to skid to the right, which bent the rudder. So seeing that making the bottom of the floats wider helped, I redesigned them and 3D printed version 4. Then I fixed the rudder system, but this time I used thicker shafts so it wouldn't bend as easy. After these mods, I went to test it out to see what needs improvement.
Let's see how our uh, new sponsons are doing. Redesigned. Oh, I didn't notice you redesigned it. You could trim that piece of stick. But... That was left like half the auto. It's about half the auto. That was less than half the auto. Whoa. What happened? I'm just putting on the GoPro mm -hmm. and uh Sponson? Sponson is off. Oh boy. How are you going to go get it? The Sponson? Mm -hmm. Good question. Uh, Can you turn it? Only and left. And push it? Flop. I can barely... Just bring it over here. Yes, and we'll learn about that later. This is full right. Oh, there's air bubbles. <laughs> Shipwreck. Yeah. Next, you can see I made some pretty good passes, and I was under half throttle the entire time. And then, as always, something happened. So when I was going for another run, I accidentally pushed the stick on my remote to turn left. As you can imagine, turning the rudder full left at 20 miles an hour wasn't very good. The good news, however, was that the rudder system was completely fine. So that's nice. I let the small current of the lake push the float so my sister could retrieve it. As you can see, the wooden dowel that held it snapped off. That, however, was partially my fault, as I cut the dowel with pliers instead of with a saw, which caused cracks throughout the entire thing. Now that we have the boat rising up and started planing and speeding up, we now need to see how fast it goes at full throttle, but that will be for next video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.